In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. who have commanded us to listen to your beloved Son. Be pleased, we pray, to nourish us inwardly by your word, that with spiritual sight made pure, we may rejoice to behold your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord said to Abram, Go forth from the land of your kinsfolk and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. All the communities of the earth shall find blessing in you. Abraham went as the Lord directed him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness to deliver them from death and perceive them in spite of famine. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. 
may your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, bear your share of hardship for the gospel with the strength that comes from God. He saved us and called us to holy life, not, not according to our works, but according to his own design. And the grace bestowed on us in Christ Jesus be, before time began, but now made manifest. Through the appearance of our Savior Christ Jesus, who destroyed death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us all stand. Shiny cloud, the Father's voice is heard. This is my beloved Son. Listen to him. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took Peter, James, and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white such as no fuller on earth could bleach them. Then Elijah appeared to them along with Moses, and they were conversing with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Rabbi, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He hardly knew what to say. They were so terrified. Then a cloud came. Casting a shadow over them, from the cloud came a voice. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. <clears throat> Suddenly, looking around, they no longer saw anyone but Jesus alone with them. As they were coming down from the mountain, he charged, them, he charged them not to relate what they had seen to anyone, except when the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept the matters to themselves, questioning what rising from the dead meant. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Welcome po sa Parish and National Shrine of St. Padre Pio. We heard in our Gospel this second Sunday of Lent, the Transfiguration of Jesus. It is a glimpse of His eternal glory and preview of His ultimate victory. Pinapakita nito sa atin kung sino ba talaga ang ating Panginoong Jesus. Pinapakita rin nito sa atin na ang buhay ng ating Panginoong Jesus ay hindi matatapos sa pagkamatay. Hindi ito matatapos sa kanyang pagkamatay sa krus, 
kundi sa kanyang muling pagkabuhay. His resurrection is His final victory over sin and death. The transfiguration of Jesus also reminds us of what awaits us. Ano nga ba ang naghihintay sa atin? Ano nga ba ang meron sa atin sa hinaharap? Ano nga bang pinapangako sa atin ng ating Panginoon? Yan ang buhay na walang hanggan. Heaven, ang langit. Pero paano natin makakamit ito? Let us reflect on two things. First, we have to be obedient like Jesus. We have to be obedient like Jesus. Kaya ba nating sundin ang kalooban ng Diyos para sa atin? Was there a time that you reflect on what is God's plan for you? Ano ba ang nais ng Diyos para sa iyo? Naiisip mo ba na may plano ang Diyos para sa iyo? O ang lagi mo lang iniisip ay yung plano mo sa sarili mo? Ang plano mo ba sa sarili mo o sa buhay mo ay nakaayon kaya sa plano ng Diyos para sa iyo? Baka ang lagi lang nating iniisip ay yung gusto nating makamit, gusto nating maabot, gusto nating marating. Pero hindi natin naiisip kung ano ba talaga ang nais ng Diyos para sa atin. So let us take a break to listen and hear what God wants us to do. And remember that Jesus Himself submits to the will of the Father. Sana tayo ganun din. Tularan natin si Jesus. At masabi din natin, Not my will, Father, but your will be done. Second, we have to suffer with Jesus. We have to suffer with Jesus. Kaya pa kaya natin magsakripisyo? Marunong pa ba tayo magsakripisyo? Napakarami ayaw ng magsakripisyo. Sawa na, pagod na. Pero kung nakararanas tayo ng paghihirap, ano kaya ang attitude natin? Paano kaya natin inahandle ang ating mga hirap, mga sakripisyo sa buhay? Kapag tayo nakaranas ng sakripisyo, ng paghihirap, huwag tayong manulumo sapagkat nakaranas din si Jesus ng hirap. Siya ay nagbata ng hirap para sa atin. And we have to remember that to follow Jesus is to embrace the cross. At lahat ng sakripisyo natin sa buhay ay hindi masasayang kung ito ay iniaalay natin sa Diyos. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this Eucharistic celebration, May all of us be obedient like Jesus. May He continue to inspire us to climb and conquer our mountains of sufferings and sacrifices. Sapagat alam natin sa buhay natin ay hindi mawawala ang hirap, ang sakripisyo. Kaya lagi nating isipin, when we suffer, we are not suffering alone. We are suffering with Jesus. And may our Lord Jesus Christ be our source of joy and hope for us to go in life. Dahil ang buhay, hindi lang naman puro hirap, hindi lang naman puro sakripisyo, meron ding nagiintay ng tagumpay. And when we suffer with Jesus, we will someday rejoice and be victorious with Jesus. Amen. Please all stand. 
I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The splendor of the transfiguration counteracts and help us accept the sad reality of the cross in the life of Christ as well as in ours. Trusting in the unfailing love of the Father for all of us, we pray. Lord, we trust in Lord, you. Lord, we trust in you. For the church, may she faithfully accomplish her mission of proclaiming to all nations that Jesus is the only Savior. Let us pray. Lord, Lord we, we trust, trust in, in you. For the Holy Father, our Bishop, and all other spiritual leaders, may they constantly trust in God's love, even in the midst of affliction and oppositions. Let us pray. Lord, Lord we, we trust, trust in, in you. you. For those who are undergoing severe trials, may they find in the Lord the source of their consolation and strength. Let us pray. Lord, Lord we, we trust, trust in, in you. For those who feel confused in the midst of so much darkness and uncertainty, may they find meaning for their lives in the teaching and life of Jesus. Let us pray. Lord, Lord we trust, we trust in, in you. For all of us, may we live this Lenten season in total availability to do what God wants in imitation of Abraham and Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Lord, Lord we, we trust, trust in you. God, our Father, source of all strength and consolation. Make us faithful to you till death, following the example of Jesus, your Son, who lives and shines forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets. Sayo all stand. Pray, brethren, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, cleanse us of our faults 
and sanctify your faithful in body and mind for the celebration of the Paschal festivities through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after he had told the disciples of his coming death on the holy mountain, he manifested to them his glory, to show even by the testimony of the law and the prophets that the passion leads to the glory of the resurrection. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, the Son in the highest. The said is he who comes in the name. At Neil, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gilbert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Those who cannot kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
collection which will be done is for the continuing development of the parish and national shrine of Saint Father Pio and for the needs and welfare of the sick and retired priest of the Archdiocese of Lipa. Thank you for your offering. Na na na. 
Let us all stand. Let us pray. As we receive these glorious mysteries, we make thanksgiving to you, O Lord, for allowing us, while still on earth, to be partakers even now of the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Saint Padre Pio, Padre Pio, holy monk from Pietralcina, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon on this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage, with you our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our health, and our might. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede, bless and grace us that our lives may be fulfilled. From sin may we abstain, in God may we remain. We also beseech thee, servant of the Most Holy, to instruct us in the gospel that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee, our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit, 
and Jesus the Mediator. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Una, sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambasandambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ang inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, mga kapiyo, kami po ay humihingi na inyong kaunting oras at pakikiisa para sa pagsusulat ng inyong mga pangalan at ilang detalye sa ating Pilgrim's Information Record Books na makikita sa paligid ng ating mga simbahan. Ito po ay bahagi ng documentation program para sa pagpapalawig ng mga datos at turismong pangsimbahan at bilang alaala din ng inyong pagbisita sa Pambansandambana. Para po sa ating mga balikbayan, OFW at mga kasama niyong foreigners, doon po kayo magsusulat sa International Pilgrims Record Book. Gagabayan po kayo ng ating mga tagapaglingkod. Kiyat Dambana ni San Vicente Perel sa Banay-Banay ng Lipa upang magbenta ng raffle tickets para sa kanilang pagpapatayo ng multipurpose building. Sila po ay nasa bandan likuran at gilid ng simbahan. Atin po silang suportahan. Ikalima, bilang isa sa mga Arts Diocesan Centers for Reconciliation at bahagi ng pagsasakripisyo ngayong panahon ng Kwaresma, tayo po ay inaanyayahang mangumpisal at magsisi sa ating mga kasalanan. Makikita po ninyo sa screen ang mga confession schedule. Gayun din naman, mayroon po tayong pagdarsal na estasyon ng krus tuwing araw ng biyernes sa ganap na ikatatlo ng hapon. Ang aklat dasalan po ay available sa ating mga tindahan. Ikaanim, mga kapiyo, bahagi pa din ang ating pagpapalalim ng pananampalataya at pagninilay ngayong panahon ng Kwaresma. Ang ating lakbay parokya ay gagawin natin sa ibang mga simbahan sa Pampanga sa darating na March 21, 2024. Para sa mga nagnanais sumama, kayo po ay magpalista sa opisina ng parokya hanggang dal sa halagang 2,000 at 500 piso ngayon, March 10 lamang. Maraming salamat po at mangyaring panatilihin natin ang kalinisan, katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating mga simbahan. Magsitayo na po ang lahat para sa pagbabasbas na religious articles. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos amang makapangyarihan upang tayo ay maging kawangis ni Kristo sa taimtim na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. O Panginoong Diyos, Ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagpapala at piyaya. Ibus mo ang iyong bendisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa pananalangin. Mga rosaryo, imahen, dasalan na nagpapaalala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin, upang lahat na dumulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin mong tulara nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ang mga santo magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. Bless your faithful, we pray, O Lord, with a blessing that endures forever, and keep them faithful to the gospel of your only begotten Son, so that they may always desire and at last attain that glory whose beauty he showed in his own body to the amazement of his apostles, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Para sa sarili lamang Walang sino man ang namamatay Para sa sarili lamang